The participants are brought into a room and told that they are the top 11 students at SLTC. They don't know what's in store for them. The entire competition is kept secret until the competition begins. The challenge will be divided into four separate events. They include a written test, CPR, obstacle course, and hurt man rescue. Also factored into their score is their final test grade and GPA. Each one of these events is designed to challenge the contestant in the classroom, but out in the field as well. I feel like it's a big thing to uphold, you know, and winning's not everything, but I definitely, I want to win for my PC just to show them that they didn't vote for the wrong person. Super, super nervous, for sure. Uh, you know, you kind of got everybody kind of on your shoulder. There's pressure nerves of competing for the PC. Uh, I want to make them proud too, but they're going to be pushing me to, uh, bring home the trophy for uh, PC5. The first event of the competition is the written exam. This tests the student's knowledge on basic fundamentals of line work, as well as advanced knowledge from the field. It is crucial to attain the best score and beat the competition. The, the reason why we do the test is, is, one, it's above and beyond any test that they have in their curriculum here. Um, so we take some, some stuff out of the books that we maybe mentioned in passing. It covers subjects that they, uh, you know, such as OSHA, that they may not have paid as much attention as they ought to have or should have. They said, well, you got to do a written test, and as soon as those words left Rusty's mouth, I was like, well, this is not going to be good. <laughs> Uh, I'm glad all the tests weren't like that. I mean, that joker was pretty rough. But it was some little things that if you didn't really pay attention or uh, comprehend it, you weren't going to know it. You know, class material that was uh, need to know information, how well did they hang on to that? Were they really paying attention in class or were they just looking to pass a test? And like I said, it's above and beyond any curriculum we have, so it really stretches their parameters of what they know. Waiting outside for the first test, for the first event we were gonna do, it was just kind of nerve-wracking. And a couple of things to my head, I was thinking, it's gonna be hooking up transformers, like they can't bring a transformer inside. When we walked in, uh, Trundle was sitting in there and Russell, and me and the other guy from PC5 walked in, their eyes got big, we started grinning, and they started laughing. I was really wondering what we was about to get into, and then walking in and seeing CPR, I was like, wow. <laughs> Most of them's eyes were about that big around when they saw that rescue dummy laying there, so. CPR is a curveball in the competition. The instructors choose these types of events to keep the contestants on their toes. The slim participants have to recall CPR information they received 10 weeks ago and do it flawlessly. It wasn't, I was definitely not expecting CPR at all though, to be honest with you. I didn't figure that'd be part of it. So it was kind of neat. Oh, that's a big relief. I've done CPR tons of times, so there was no stress on that one. It was a big relief. Again, here's here's an event of something, oh man, I should have probably been paying attention a little more in that video, right? So it is that curveball of, it's not just your everyday outside, it's not your hurt man, it's not it's not really a, a, a lineman specific work job, but it's something that we really have to be versed in because you never know when you're gonna have to pull back to that certification. Through the first two competitions, the contestants are in a dead heat for the Slim Award. The first half of the Slim Challenge is completed with the outdoor portion set to begin. Next time on Down to the Wire. But you know, this is the best of the best. We want the guy that pays attention, is a stickler to detail, and does the job to the best of his ability in that time. For any time you, you give someone a task and you go, go, and you punch a stopwatch, that automatically adds an element to it. I think they're probably nervous. Uh, I think they probably hide it well. 